You guys can see behind me the devastation that the gypsy moth caterpillar can leave behind on a tree. In a field with trees full of leaves, this one here is absolutely bare. And that is exactly what they do. You've likely noticed them crawling around in trees, eating away at the leaves, even falling on your head. Some report being left with itchy welts after that happens. These are an invasive species that will eventually turn into a species of moth. Every few years they seem to pop up and cause chaos in our trees, and this year seems to be one of the worst yet. The gypsy moth caterpillar. These creepy crawlies have been popping up on trees across the province, but particularly in southern Ontario. It kept falling on me, falling on my blanket, on my face. As unpleasant as they are to the eye, they're even worse on the trees, stripping most they infest bare of all foliage. Last year was the worst outbreak in the province's history. 569,000 hectares of tree defoliation. Oftentimes the trees can recover within the year, but it becomes harder after multiple infestations. It does tend to stress the tree out. So there is that factor of multiple years of defoliation will cause, you know, some parts of tree mortality or allow other diseases. While some Ontario municipalities have chosen to do aerial tree spraying this year, others like Toronto are not doing it this year, focusing on ground-based efforts instead, like insecticides and tree injections. Just wrap it around the tree. But what my goal is, though, is to create a collar at the top. So Experts say there are measures you can take you yourself can too. The most successful so seems to involve a burlap down, wrap with a fold at the top, top to catch them as they climb down. Then you slowly unroll it, inspect so for any catches of the day, and well... Nice question. He, he's gone. He gone. Their hairs contain histamine though, so if you're allergic... There are things that you can do like scraping them or hand picking them uh, just into soap and water. That's also a good way to get rid of their eggs when they sprout in the winter. From here, it'll likely only get worse before it gets better. There's still at least a couple weeks before these things transition into their next stage of development before turning into moths. I feel like I'm constantly looking at myself to see if they're on me. I'm kind of getting the heebie-jeebies a bit just standing under this tree. Now, gypsy moth populations grow and grow and grow over a number of years, and then they naturally die off due to a naturally occurring virus that happens amongst them once their population gets too big. Experts who spoke to Global News say that that mass die-off may not happen for another year or three, though, so we might still be seeing a lot of these critters in the summers to come. Back to the desk.